hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to create a search box with animated icons in this search box you can see this placeholder text and these icons which is sliding vertically when i start typing anything in this search box these icons will disappear and when it is blank it will again display these icons we will create this using html and css only before starting this video, I would like to tell you about the Bluehost Black Friday sale where you will get up to 60% off on Bev hosting. This sale is live right now. Here you can see the regular price is $299 and in this offer period you will get it for $149 per month when you will buy for 36 months duration. And the same offer is applicable for shared hosting and WordPress hosting. I already have dedicated video about how to build website with Bluehost. If you are planning to publish your website online, just go and get your domain name and web hosting from Bluehost and upload your website online. This offer is going to end on 28th of November. Now let's start to create this search box. Here in this folder, you can see I have one HTML file, one CSS file and one folder called images and in this folder, I have some icons that I will be using in this web page. You can find these icons download link in the video description let me come back and open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code you can use any code editor so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structure and this one is the css file in this html file i have added this link tag that will connect the html and css next we will add the code in the body tag so here we will create one div with the class name container and Next we will add the CSS for this container. So just add this class name here in the CSS file and here we will add the width and height. So the width will be 100% and height will be 100 VH viewport height. And after that we have to add the gradient color in the background. So here we will add the background image and linear gradient and here we will add two color code with the angle. So let's add the angle 45 degree. Then we will add the first color code, then the second color code which is black. After adding this come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this gradient color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open it with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server. So it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page again. Now just come back and within this container we will create one form. So let's create one form and we will add one class name. So the class name is search box. And in this search box there will be one input field and one search icon so we will add the input input type will be text and in this placeholder we will add one text what are you looking for and after that we will add one search button so we will add the button tag and in this button tag we will add the img and in this img we will add the icons so write the file path images slash search.png so we will get one search icon within the search button and type will be submit after adding this again come back to the web page you can see this search input field and this search icon now we have to place it in the center of the web page so just come back and come to the css file here in this container we will add display flex align item center and justify content center after adding this you can see it is in the center next we have to align the input box and the icon in the same horizontal line so just come back and here we have the class name search box next we will add the css for this search box so write this class name here in this css file and here we will add the background so the background will be white and after that we will add the width it will be 90 percent and let's add the maximum width 
it will be 650 pixel then we will add some padding 10 pixel and display will be flex align items center and then we will add the border radius border radius will be 10 pixel so that the corners will be round by 10 pixel and here we will add the height height will be 85 pixel after adding this you can see it is in the white color and here we have the input box and this search icon next we have to increase the length of the input box for that just come back and here let's add this class name again then write input so for this input we will add the flex flex will be one so it will use the entire space available in the form now we will add the padding that will be space inside the input box 15 pixel and 10 pixel then border will be zero and after that outline zero and background will be transparent font size 20 pixel now this search icon is in the right side next we will add the css for this search icon so just come back and here we will add the same class name search box and then we will add the button and in this button we have the img tag so for this image let's add the width it will be 25 pixel so you can see the small icon here next we have to remove the color behind this search icon and the border so just come back here we will add this one and for this button we will add the padding it will be 10 pixel and 12 pixel then we will add the border 0 and outline 0 here also background will be transparent and cursor pointer so this search icon is looking good next we have to add the other three icons which will be vertically sliding so just come back and here in this html file after this button we will add one div with the class name slider in this slider we will add one div and inside this div we will add the img and write the file path of the first icon which is images slash music dot png just duplicate it and change the icon this will be video dot png and the last one is image dot png so we have added three different icons in different div now come back to the website you can see these icons here which is in the right side so we have to change its position size and we have to make it vertically slide so just come back to the css file write this class name here slider for the slider we will add the position position will be absolute and it will be at the bottom bottom will be zero left we will add the space from the left 285 pixel here we are adding position absolute so in this search box we will add the position relative after adding this you can see it is here just after the ending of this placeholder text now just come back and uh, at the bottom of this css file here we will add slider and div so for this div we will add the height it will be 85 pixel display will be flex and align items center and in this slider we have the img so for all the images we will add the width width will be 25 pixel so you can see it is in the perfect size next we have to slide these icons in fixed time interval 
for that just come back here in this slider we will add the animation so let's add the animation slider it will be for six seconds linear and infinite next we will add the keyframes for the slider so write keyframes slider and zero percent at zero percent we will add the transform translate y minus 85 pixel let me add it in the same line like this so this is for the zero percent let's duplicate this line and here we will add 5% after that 30% then 35% after that 65% and 70% then the last one is 100% now we will update these pixel it will be 0 then again 0 and it will be plus 85 pixel plus 85 pixel and this one 170 pixel after updating this keyframes let's come back to the website you can see it is automatically sliding with fixed time interval right now all three icons are visible so we have to hide the other two icons only one icon will be visible for that just come back in this search box we will add the overflow hidden after adding this come back to the website you can see only one icon is visible which is sliding vertically so finally we have created this animated search box using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video